Alright, so today I'm going to teach you guys some basic tips in like After Effects you should know when you're first starting out. This is going to be really basic, it's going to be really fast, really short. So yeah, so let me just actually make a new con. Actually, I already have one. Anyway, so, so here's just a video I made. You say if you want to split a clip, so like between these two clips. Just make sure like wherever you want to split it, your little whatever this shit is, your slider is on like where you want to split the clip so to actually split the clip you got to hold Control shift d if you're on mac i'm pretty sure it's command shift d i'm pretty sure it's the same thing but that's to split the clip and if you want to like undo that then Control z all right so but say if you split the clip and you want to get rid of this half just just make sure it's highlighted if uh hold Control x and then it should it should fucking delete and then now Control Z because we want that back. Pretty much all you need to know, but I'm also going to teach you guys a whole bunch of different transitions. And usually I use presets, but all those presets are not hard to do on your own. So I'm just going to teach you guys how to do them. Say if you want to remake the transition right here, that little twirl. So, right there. So, this little warp thingy right here is, that, is not that hard to do. So, what you're going to want to do is so what I usually do before, like I go out and mark my transitions, how you want to do it is that you want to put the marker on the first frame of the new clip you want to go into, and then you add an adjustment layer. I usually just fucking cut it right there, and then whatever, and just look up warp right here. It should be in distort. So you can just either look it up right here, or you go to effects distort and it'll pop up right there but i just like putting it here all right so you can either drag it or you can just double click it and it'll go right there and this is like the normal thing so don't worry just change this to i'm pretty sure it's fisheye or twist yes yeah, twist i'm stupid i don't know why i think it's fisheye anyway so change this to zero just by itself all right I mean, I usually start to transition like seven frames before. So like I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just like my preference. So yeah. And then I also do the same to end it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just put the clip, take that out. Now, since you changed that to zero, you put on twist, whatever. So you're going to want to click that little fucking timer thing it's a keyframe and then you want to start that off at zero and then drag your cursor right here onto the next frame but do this first go one frame back and change this to i'm pretty sure it's 100 pretty sure and then change this to negative 100 all right so since you have that little timer thing that's going to put up keyframes that is going to just like whatever and then it's going to switch and then you go to the end of the clip and you just zero. Another thing you should do is always go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, and that just makes everything smoother. So yeah. Now if you look at this. That's a good transition to do. Like, it's not the best. Actually, I would probably make this faster in my opinion. So, I would probably if if seven's not good enough for me, I usually do three or four. So, one, two, three. I would do four actually. So let's just drag that, and then I just still keep that seven. Oh, yeah, see, that looks a little. So, yeah. But that's a nice little transition you guys could do. Um, so that's a nice little transition you guys could do. And I mean, you could also do what's the same more thing. So let's just reset this. You do a little like pinch. So change that to fish eye. Take off the keyframes. Change that to zero. Now, usually. So let me go seven frames back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that back. 
And what you want to do is you want to get rid of this whole side of the clip. So you're going to start this at zero, keyframe that, and then go right here. And then I'm pretty sure isn't that to go ne yeah negative. So go all the way that, and then change this to negative a hundred, and then that should do a little just pinch. Yeah, it's nothing special, but it, so that's a all right transition if you want. You can just look up CC Radio Fast Blur. Change this to actually was it Fast Blur or was it just Radio Blur? Yeah, Radio Blur. Change that and then put it as a fading zoom. And now that's probably, that's probably like the middle, whatever. Start off right here. Keyframe it. Put this to like a really high one. Depends, whatever your liking is. Let's just put it 50, I guess. And then zero. That's all I see, like like whatever another transition you could really do i mean you could use a sh you could really use honestly anything as a transition so like you could use a shake um look up s underscore shake and if you guys don't have the sapphire plugin then i don't know you should probably go download it because it's pretty not essential but it has a lot of stuff for stuff for like a shake i'll probably go back like four frames so one two three four and Let's see, enable motion blur. And I would probably do this at like four. Keyframe it. And then over here, put it down a little bit. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably put it to zero. And let's go over here. Easy ease that bitch. So yeah, see that looks alright. Like literally, you can honestly use anything as a transition trust. Another thing you can do if you have the Sapphire plugin, look up uh, and then I'm pretty sure it's blur directional. Yeah. So change the sit shift to zero. The blur amount. Okay. So this is like so you can go, I'm going to say, give this like, yeah, three or two. Actually, yeah, let's do two and one, two, and then delete that. So let's keyframe this. Let's set this to zero. This. And then put this like really high up. And then put this back to zero. So that's going to be like a really, really, really quick heavy um, blur and what you can also do you also want to change the angle so let's change it like this a complete 180 so that's going to be like like a side blur so that looks pretty good if you if you want you could make it longer but that's pretty much it so another transition you could do is you could use if if you have Baker's easy transition. I'm not gonna put a link. You have to go and search that up on your own. I'm sorry, but just don't feel like doing that. But yeah, and a lot of people really hate if you use Baker's. So I mean, honestly, don't give a fuck what people think about it. <laughs> it's what I like to use. It's whatever. It's an easy preset. That's like. I mean, look at this. You really want to do this? Anyway. So, if you have Baker's, like I said, put it on. Take this all down. Whatever. Now, you can change this. So, okay. So, make sure this third keyframe is aligned with your, you know, your marker, whatever. So, then now, what you want to do is... You don't have to really do anything. You just put it on, line up the keyframe, and that's pretty much it. And you could do this. So let's try 40. So yeah, that's a, 
that looks good right there and also like you can also adjust these keyframes to adjust them though you have to go over here like okay go to your adjustment layer click e click on curve editor and it's all right there so you could change this so like to make it go faster you could just you don't move any of these don't move any of these if you want to like come in quicker then move this like over here blah 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 whatever yeah or and if you don't like that one you can change this into negative and see how that looks so There's another one. There's one I like to use. So change this to 25 and let's change this to 25. I'm pretty sure. And I should do like a zoom slash spin. So yeah, that actually looks really clean to me for some reason. I don't know why. I just really like that one. And if you want to make it go the other way, I'm pretty sure this has to be negative. Yeah. yeah anyway. So yeah, that's another really easy transition if you have bakers. It's really not that hard to find a download link. Just look it up on YouTube. That's, that's honestly, that's pretty much it on like transitions like... It's not, I mean, it's a, you can literally make anything off, like, into a transition, trust me. Like, how, like, I did with the shake, all that shit. This whole video doesn't even have, like, crazy transition, but just, you don't really need crazy transitions. That's pretty much on transitions. If you guys do want a tutorial on anything else, just DM me on... My Instagram, it should be on the screen right now. Just DM me, tell me what you want to learn, all that stuff, and I'll try my best to make a video on it, because I'm not really at the best at, like, actually getting myself to do stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's pretty much it.